and I've sanded a piece or I've blowtorched a piece or I've chipped into it, I love how it feels. I don't know if that leads the way of the painting or the composition of the painting, but it's definitely something that I think is really powerful in the work, is how the marks are quite deep, quite rugged, quite strong, and I've gone for like quite heavy power tools, so I, you know, dremels and sanders and blowtorches, because again, I love the idea that you can change the nature of the surface through an additional element like nature with the decay so through rain and battered surfaces it peels it rots and the same with me and my paintings I suppose you know sanding you need to change the nature of the surface I can't throw things away I always think there's got to be something else they can be used for the guy at work had sort of said oh we'll be getting rid of loads of old paints they're half empty tins bit of quarter tins could you use them and I said absolutely no way you can thread them away so I started using them and of course they flake the right way that you want them to do and they peel the right way that you want them to do to, to represent the surfaces you're researching. The garage is full, the understairs is full, in the studio is full, um, and people generally want to give it, you know, give the real paint basically. The fact that I can breathe new life into it rather than it go into the skip, I love it. I absolutely love the fact that I can yeah, give it a new breath of life and give it a new dialogue for then someone else to hang it back in somebody else's house. People always go, where'd your names come from? Or what was it named for this? Generally, I try and record where the paints come from and then title the works. So you have a little bit of an insight about where it's come from to continue that journey. averaging between sort of 10, 20 layers before I begin anything. So layer out the paintings first and then start scratching into them, marking them before I can work out where the composition is that I want to, to pull forward as a focal point. It's representation of, you know, the amount of times you will paint a house and the amount of people that have lived there and the dialogue within the, the house and the history behind houses, which I find fascinating as well. So I suppose I'm trying to maybe represent that in the work as well by revealing certain colours or marks or those kinds of things. I think it's really rich. I think it's really interesting. I think it's fascinating. And I literally am like a child in a sweet shop. I get incredibly excited. Always take off my shoes, my feet. I think it gives me a sense of different environment, grounded completely at one with the environment I'm in um, because I work from on the floor to on the wall but it's so liberating being you know uh, barefoot music on canvases everywhere and just being allowed to do what you want to do with an idea that you have in the moment that's incredibly like rich